ever dreamed of being a superhero like Batman or Spider-Man? We grew up watching these fictional characters save people's lives one by one. I know I always wish I could save someone's life. So what if I told you that you could be a superhero too? It is a different type of superhero though. You don't need any magical powers. You don't need a costume. You were born with all the essentials to save someone's life. So I'm sure you're asking yourself, how can I be a superhero? Well, it is rather simple. All you have to do is register to become an organ donor. I am a registered organ donor, and today I want to tell you some of the statistics concerning organ donation, the, a solution to the long transplant list, and share a few stories. <clears throat> Even though organ donation does not sound like a crisis, uh, let me share with you a few facts concerning organ donation. The Biomedical Engineering Journal says that approximately 110,000 people in the U.S. alone are waiting for an organ. An average of 18 people die each day waiting for a transplant. According to an article uh, in the U.S. Today magazine, it's about 7,000 people die each year waiting for an organ. <clears throat> it's estimated that only 35% of the American popula population are organ uh, donors. That leaves 65% uh, of the population that's not. That is a significant number of people. Think about it. If that 65% of the population signed up and was a born donor, the list would, do, would decrease in number. <clears throat> According to Kimberly Basket in the Technology Teacher Journal, there is no age limit to those who can donate organs. Organ donors are not determined by the age of the donor, but by the quality and condition of the organ. However, if you're 18 and under, you must have your parents' signature uh, and permission to be an organ donor. <clears throat> The average of those who can receive an organ is about 49. That's just the average uh, age. But that does not limit uh, other people from receiving organs as well. While the number of people on the waiting list for an organ transplant is large, there is a simple solution. <clears throat> if more people signed up to become an organ donor, then the 110,000 people waiting list would dwindle down drastically. This decision impacts lives on a daily basis. Amelia Brown received a liver, trans liver transplant, and this is what she said. The real heroes are the donor family. I look at it this way. There could have been two tragedies, but my donor family turned their tragedy into a blessing. I'm forever grateful. So, when you register to become an organ donor, it's important to follow a few guidelines. Please let your family and your friends and those who are close to you know what your wishes are after you die. It's important that they know. Also, it's uh, smart to designate your decision on your driver's license. So to register, all you have to do is go online, find a donor, uh, organ donor agency, and register. You can also register when you uh, go or get your driver's license at the DMV. It's really simple. You just go and register there. So now that you know how you can get involved, I want to share a story with you. Scott Wilson wrote an article for the Diabetes Forecast about how his life has been impacted by uh, his organ transplant, and this is his story. In 1975, Scott was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of 9. Uh, in 1990, he began suffering a lot of vision loss um, and kidney failure. So it wasn't until 2008 that he was actually eligible to be put on the transplant list. That's 18 years after he started having the kidney failure. So he works as a mail carrier, and so he would work all day, um, long days, and then at night he would have to go to the hospital and have dialysis and stuff. That was the only treatment he was eligible for at that point. Um, but he never gave up on life. He never gave up on hope. It wasn't until October 25, 2010, that Scott got the call from the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, that they had two organs waiting for him. They had a pancreas and a kidney. It was his 693rd day on the transplant list. It claims the results were remarkable and that, that it was a true miracle. Scott Wilson, like many others who have lived with the disease that took a toll on his body to the point of organ failure, have benefited from organ transplants. Organ, trans, the organ transplant that he received changed his life. It can change so many more people's lives if more people register to become organ donors. Linda Cheatham received a kidney transplant. This is what she says. To us, every day is an ice cream sundae with a great big block of whipped cream and a cherry on top. 
We are alive. We are here. And we thank you, thank you, thank you. While it is so great to hear about people's lives that have changed because of an organ transplant, this does not happen without action on our part. I want everyone to take a moment and envision giving someone the opportunity to live in this beautiful world a little while longer. Even though you will not be on this earth anymore, you can still make a difference in someone's life. Most of the people needing organ transplants, they're young, they haven't lived very long and they still can live longer. It's an amazing picture of happiness when you think about giving a person the opportunity to live life off the respirator, outside the hospital walls. For me, it was a simple decision to become an organ donor. I will not need my organs after I die, but I know there will be someone else still living who does. Organ donation has changed the face of humanity, and I ask you now, will you become someone's superhero?